Welcome to day 7 of beginner yoga challenge. Today we will be working on back strength and flexibility. And we are going to start this practice in comfortable child's pose. Keep your knees close together or wider apart. Lower your forehead to the ground, extending your arms in front. And take a couple of deep breaths to settle in. Breathe deeply into your belly. Notice how your back and front ribs expand as you inhale. And contract as you exhale. Take one more big breath here. And on your next inhale, come up to your hands and knees in tabletop position. Position your hands underneath your shoulders and knees underneath your hips. A few rounds of cat and calf here. With inhale, drop your belly. Look up for cow. Exhale, press through your hands, rounding the back, dropping your head for cat. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the back, look up. Exhale, round your back like a cat. A few more on your own, just keep moving with your breath. Bring your spine back to neutral position and start making circles with your torso, moving your spine in all directions. Notice where you feel the stretch or any restrictions in your back as you move your body in circles. And then reverse, make a few circles in another direction. Bring your spine back to neutral and lay down on your belly. Place your hands underneath your shoulders next to your chest. Press down through the tops of your feet. Inhale and lift your chest for small cobra. Take your hands off the ground and see how high you can stay just using your back strength. Exhale, lower forehead down to the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. A few more like this. Keep lifting your chest a bit higher each time. Strengthening the muscles on the back. Last time, lift your chest with inhale, lower down, exhale. And now position your forearms on the mat, parallel to each other, with elbows underneath your shoulders. Press down through your forearms and lift your chest, pulling it forward between your upper arms. Trying to bring your shoulder blades closer together. Keep your neck in line with the rest of the spine. So instead of looking up, think of looking forward or a little bit more down to the top of the mat. If you would like to go deeper into the back bend, you can try straightening your arms here. But make sure your shoulders stay down away from the ears. And there is no pressure on your lower back. 
If you feel any weird sensations, just stay on your forearms in Sphinx pose. Slowly release the pose, placing your hands on top of each other, place your forehead on the hands and try shaking your hips side to side. This helps to release the tension in the lower back. And now bring your arms back, interlace fingers behind your back. If your shoulders feel tight and it's hard to interlace the fingers, just keep your hands open. Press the tops of the feet and the pubic bone into the mat. Inhale, lift your chest up and pull your hands back towards your toes. Hold here. Breathing deeply and trying to lift your chest a bit higher with each inhale. One last time, inhale here. Exhale, release your head down, take a little break. Maybe shake your hips side to side, relieving the pressure from the lower back. Interlace your fingers again behind your back. This time as you inhale, lift everything you can off the mat, your legs and your upper body. Engage the muscles on the back of the body, your glutes, your back muscles. Keep pulling your hands back towards your feet, stretching the shoulders. One last time, inhale here. And with exhale, release down to the mat. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Press through your hands to come to your hands and knees. And sit back for child's pose. Keep your hands far forward. Maybe even place your fingertips to the ground so that your elbows stay lifted off the mat. And reach your hands far forward so that you feel a big stretch on the upper body. Maybe underneath your armpits, on your arms, upper and lower back. Keep breathing deeply, expanding your ribs with each inhale. And relaxing your body a bit more with each exhale. Walk your fingertips to the left to stretch the right side of the body. Breathe deeply into your right ribs. And then bring your fingertips to the other side, stretching the left side of the body. Bring your hands back to center and lift up to your knees. Place your knees around hip distance apart. Your toes can stay tuck or untuck. We will try the camel pose, so if you are doing it for the first time, just try to tuck your toes in. Place your hands on your lower back with fingers pointing down. Take a deep breath and start lifting your chest up looking up to the ceiling. You can stay right here, breathing deeply and trying to lift your chest up towards the ceiling, gently pushing your hips forward. When you feel ready, you can try lowering your hands down to your heels. Be mindful of how your body feels in this position. 
and choose variation that works for you today. With your next inhale, slowly release the pose and sit down to your heels for a moment in child's pose. Arms can be stretched in front or alongside the body. A few deep breaths into your back. Slowly come up with your next inhale and lay down on your back. Place your feet hip distance apart, closer to your sit bones, preparing for bridge pose. Press down through your feet, inhale and lift your hips high. Engage your glutes and inner thighs here, so that the knees don't splay out to the sides and stay just right above the ankles. Keep pressing down through your feet, trying to lift your hips a bit higher. Another option is to interlace your hands behind the back to add a shoulder stretch and a bit more back bend. Stay here for a couple of breaths. One last time, breathe in, try to lift your hips higher. Breathe out to release your hips down to the mat. Bring your knees close to your chest and rock side to side, massaging the lower back. Maybe try making some circles with your knees. One more time, press your knees close to your chest. Then cross your right leg over your left leg. Shift your hips a little bit more to the right and lower your knees towards your left. Extend your right arm on the mat and place your left hand on top of the right knee, gently pressing it down to deepen the spinal twist. Slowly bring your knees back to center and switch legs, crossing your left leg over your right leg, shifting your hips a bit more to the left and lowering your knees towards your right. Right hand can gently press the left knee down, deepening the twist. Slowly lift your knees and bring your hips back to center. Place your feet as wide as the mat and let your knees fall together. Your hands can be on the belly, above the head, alongside the body, just any comfortable position. Close your eyes and allow your body to stay still for a moment, absorbing the benefits of the practice.
If you are ready, slowly roll to your favorite side and press down through your hands to come up to seated. Thank you for practicing with me today. See you tomorrow.